Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's see, we can do a tutorial. I thought there was an option to change this screen, but I don't see it here. Well, regardless, let's go ahead and start a new game. I just want to have fun. Arm of death, no time to grind. Sure, roam the dick grounds. What the hell? Um, I think this actually just adds length to our run. Let's not do that right now. All right, so there we go. Okay, so we did manage to pull in the mods that I grabbed here. So the mods we have are Summoner, Coolio Mancy, which is basically Ice Magic, and Hero of Time, because I've been playing a little bit of Breath of the Wild lately. Um, so we do... I don't know if these three together will work. I suppose we could try it. Seems a little crazy. Um, I think we still want Burglary, because I don't like that sometimes, and... Let's see, we should probably want to start off with a weapon. Hero of Time seems like he should start off with a sword, right? I mean, sword and shield is typically links you go to. So we try that. I mean, I like dual wielding, but it doesn't start us off with a weapon. If we don't have a weapon, we could just lose a run immediately. And then maybe... Okay, give me some Viking magic on top of that. That sounds like a cool idea. All right, let's go. All right, Body of the Universe, give me a name, please. All right, part of the universe has chosen that Jacob guy. Uh, SCH, which I don't think will fit. Yeah, it won't fit. Well, thank you for the follow, that Jacob guy. I appreciate it. Appreciate you following me on Twitch. Let's go. All right. So what skills do we actually have here? So, as a summoner, Okay, we've learned the sigils and scriptures let you bind extra punish creature to your will. Great. Summoning circle. Most basically, any the summoner learns how to make summoning circle without more advanced patterns. However, the only thing you'll summon is an ectoplasmic ooze. Alright, so slime first. Then mustache man. Then punish your lithe acrobatics and fluid motions to shape shifter rook. Grant his blessing to your summons or cause foes movements. Okay, so alright. Citadel's fortitude. General Resiliency of the Mighty Golem Citadel. With you may conjure an avatar of Citadel, branches, blessings, you rough summons, or we can. Okay, so basically, if you already have a summon up, you can target the summon and grant blessings. Okay, interesting. Luminous Brilliance. The Call Force or Avatar, the Raven Scribe. Okay. The Call Force Rutan, the Dragon King's Avatar. All right. And Celestia's Splendor, most mighty inscriptions bestow upon you the ability to conjure Celestia the Star as Avatar. The Star Avatar? Okay. And then we have Coolio Magic. Right now I have an Icy Stair. And this lets me do Legend of Me. Legendary Prowess is Legend of Powers You. So right now I just have one Magic, or one Might rather. Uh, one Dodge, one Radiance. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and set up here. Character sheet, please. Thank you. All right, let's go. Lockpicks are good. We like lockpicks. I suppose we should steal stuff. I mean, would we really be the hero of time? We didn't steal things. Open up pots that don't belong to us, smash them on the ground in front of their owners. Oh, hello, shopkeeper. It's way too early for you. I mean, it's nice you have a shield available and everything, but it's way too early for you. Grab what we can. Um, sure, potion of minus. I mean, basically, we're just looking for stuff to sell. Okay, we can't open this up yet. We need a lever of some sort. 45%. I'm going to try it. Hey, well, you know, we did it. Be very careful. Oh, hello. Look at that. Block the first one. First hit. And horse leveled up because we're on no time to grind. I will take... Oh, you know what? I probably should have done magic power, magic steel. Um, let's see. Let's do lucky pick just to get ourselves in the right mindset here. Probably a trap here. Yep, there it is. No lever, though. That is weird. If there's no lever, how do we open this box? It's got to be a way. I mean, that looks weird, but... And we could try casting something at it. Icy stare at this thing. 
Nope. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and buff ourselves with Patrick Mars Magic Steel right now. There you go. Then we're always a little bit buffed. It will take some magic, but we can drink for that. Um, pair of brandy. There you go. Yep, chest is locked. Okay. Well, if there's a lever for it, I have no idea where. And yeah, I know there's a magic graffiti over there, but right now, I don't want it. Not that I think it's too dangerous to have or anything, it's just that we already have a... Um, we already have a code, I just need to actually apply it. This guy doesn't know I'm here. There you go. Plastic bolt, pretty much garbage. Uh, might as well steal... Okay, that could be good. What is that? Plague bolt. Okay. That'll do a wide area effect. That could be pretty good. Speaking of wide area effect, we haven't done Egyptology this time because I didn't want to get into a rut. I'm kind of already in a rut with um, with burglary. Like, it's one of my favorite ones. Also, lawyering, which we get, did not pick up this time. Foppish tunic. Two and one. The green tunic might be a little bit overpowered. This mod might be a touch overpowered. I mean, I guess it's only overpowered if we win, right? If we win handily, never having done that before, that'd probably be an indication that the mod might have pushed us over the edge there. Okay, there is a lever here. I'm going to assume this lever opens up that chest way over there. Here are the sounds of machinery. I'm going to guess that actually was what happened. Let me teleport. Huh. Not where I expected to teleport to, but okay. Can I knock this out? Over here. There we go. Yep, that did it. Togbell the Calming Death. Wow, it's better than the wooden sword, so... Only a little bit, though. There. Is that radiant damage? It's righteous, yeah, same, same idea. Okay. So we're still going full paladin, huh? Alright. Here. Thank you very much. Grab what I can. Take this. Take everything. There. Flippy floppies. Oh, I'm not wearing any shoes. Yeah, okay. We should definitely do that. Pressure plate. Go ahead and pick up. Picked. Nice. And a level up. I will take... I mean, we should probably start a summon, right? Seems reasonable. And really, these summons should probably just replace each other on our hotbar. I did not mean to do that. That was silly of me. Hello, guys. Why don't you come over this way? Appreciate the thought. Yeah, the righteous damage. So we're doing five crushing, four slashing, two voltaic, two righteous. Okay, decent. That's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage on the first floor is not bad. Magnetronic plate armor, okay. Tenticular wand is... it's okay. It does damage, but it's not that great. Really, without the wand tree, I think it's actually pretty bad. Okay. Plastic bolt. Or ingeniously scythed plastic bolt, but still... well, six damage. Not that bad. Not that bad. Oh. Hello there. Okay, sure. I'll steal another brandy, not actually pay for anything, and go. Like my 20s all over again. That's never happened. But it sounded good, so that's why I said it. I have never. I never steal anything from a store? I mean. I don't think so. Yeah, I've never walked into an establishment with the idea of, okay, I'm going to steal something now. I don't know, it just seems odd to me. Now, I do have a checkered pass, it's true. But. I've never done that at least. Just do graffiti all over the place. Okay, well, it's right here next to the wizard key. Should we do this? It feels like this is a bad idea. Like, I should not do this. Okay, I can sneak up on you. Great. I mean, this right now seems easy. Push invisibility, sure. Deku shield? As in Hero Time Deku? Okay, well, that's three armor. This is only one armor, but... Armor Absorption. Oh, I guess you have Armor Absorption, too. Also a counter ability. So much you can catch on fire with, from rocks and arrows rubbing against it. Very funny. Okay, so... 
Sure, it does lower our defense a little bit. But that might be okay. If we have the softball, have to use stick, whatever. I'm gonna throw wood, you know it. I don't have a helm right now. Anyway, so sure. Well, potato. I did so last grocery order. They did not have individual potatoes for sale. I don't know why. Actually, this seems to be better for me than the bucket. So they had bags of potatoes. I'm like, well, okay, sure, I suppose I could use a bag. So I got a bag. First of all, the potatoes are much smaller than I was expecting. Uh, some race bracer, interesting. That's why we have so much. Huh. Um, let's see if Krong's willing to do this. There we go. Give me just a little bit more sagacity. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I got a bag of potatoes. It is a five pound bag, which I was not expecting. Um, and the potatoes are hella small. They're like, so usually the rest of potatoes that I get are gonna be probably a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. These fit into the palm of my hand. Really, it seems like, I mean, that wouldn't be so bad. Like, there's enough of them that if I wanted to, I usually don't, but if I wanted to, I could make mashed potatoes, no problem. I mean, I could know how to do that, or scallop potatoes or something like that, but usually what I do with potatoes is I just bake them and eat them for lunch. But with these, I need two of them to eat for lunch. And I don't know, it just feels like I'm being gluttonous or something. I don't know, it doesn't, it's probably the same amount of food either way. It's just that it feels wrong somehow to eat multiple potatoes. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, it's it's small, it's, it's not even a real problem. It's just weird just throws me. It's like, why does this feel more gluttonous than eating an entire potato in one sitting anyway? I mean, it's the same idea, just, you know, it's the same amount of food. It just feels like it's more food. And nothing in the mini fridge. They said to be bashed open. Am I actually out of... No, I'm not out of lockpicks. Why are you bashing these open? Weirdo. Slice bread, sure. Barbecue and aged cheese. Aged or aged? I've heard it both ways. Too bad I can't smash through the table there or jump over it or something. Hey, sometimes people pronounce the ED in just this real super special way. There's a reason to do it sometimes, and I've forgotten what the rules are now. Yes, it is something covered in. When you're an English major, they do cover this stuff. But I've gone and forgotten what those rules are now. Looks like we're gonna go downstairs, folks. Uh, should we go to the shop first? Oh, wait, wait, no, we've got a whole section over here. Didn't even see that. Somehow I missed this entire... Oh, okay, I did step on the anti-magic field. That was not necessarily a good idea. Okay, hold on. Who puts grated cheese on the fucking Barbie? Who the hell does that? That makes no goddamn sense. Should we just max out the summoner tree? Um, hyper boring. Can force uncool adversaries into a pessimistic stupor. Okay, or bombs. Is that crack on the wall? Yeah, that's just scenery. We worked pretty hard on that one. Enemies in the center of the explosion take more damage. Ooh. Okay, only cost us seven mana to drop a bomb. I like that idea. When we get a monster zoo, that's going to be great for us. I think these guys know we're here, so pop. They still don't know we're here. We're dropping traps like crazy. Pop. And we are doing massive damage right now. It's fantastic. Fairy Roger, sure. 35% chance, I believe. I should not have believed. Now I'm currently dying to poison. No, there we go. We're okay. But I don't think I should have done it. 35% is a little low. Oh, if only I had the lawyer skill. I'd be able to confiscate that, and it would be all good. Unfortunately, not the case. Okay. Moving on. Could go downstairs. But who the hell puts grated cheese on a fucking... It doesn't make any down in a sense. 45? I think we did that. No, we did not. Came pretty close, though. Um, peasantly pitchfork is pretty bad. 
be fair. Knock you out. Okay. Teleport around, but I don't think we go very far. Unless this floor is a lot bigger than it looks. Um, there's a bat, or a, no, sorry, a raven here. There you go. The robe, I don't know if I care about. The food, I'm going to grab because I always grab the food. This, there you go. What is over here? A sleeping diggle and a wand of laser. That sounds cool. Oh, the wand's primary magical power involves distracting cats. Oh. So, damage, maybe not so much, unless you poke them in the eye with it. Which, you know, might not necessarily be off the table, I'm just saying. It is way too late for you, lady. No way am I wandering this floor again just so you can feel happy about giving me a quest. I can't get over here. Oh, it's the other way. It's the other way. Yeah, the rope's pretty garbage. Okay, so we should probably go to this shop. If nothing else, than to sell all this nonsense. Sure, potion of flunk for punishment. Sure, sounds like a good idea. Another green tunic. That's hilarious. I wonder if the green tunic was already in the game. And the mod just gave it to us at the start. Or if it's another thing entirely. I do not want that axe. We could teleport over to it with this. I know that, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. Um, though that might be blocking us off. There could be a door over there. Okay, nope, sound of machinery. Oh, okay, just open this up. Yay, a softball? Huzzah? No, not huzzah. I refuse to huzzah. There's no huzzahing for a freaking softball. It's a lousy weapon. Everyone knows it. What do you guys think about softball games? I'm not wild about those either. I'm not wild about baseball, to be fair. I mean, I'll watch people play baseball video games. The thing is, I went to a game, I went to an actual game. Like, my dad actually like took time off work to take me to a game. And I was bored. It was actually one of the most boring things I have ever done. The reason is because there's so much downtime in a baseball game. Like, in most sports, I think. I think this is my problem. is like, I like to be entertained all the damn time, and sports don't allow for that. Really, it seems like it's mostly for, I don't know, selling you stuff. Like, you're supposed to buy a bunch of condiments or whatever, and that's fine. But I just can't get into, just cannot get into baseball. There's so much downtime. I mean, there's less downtime in baseball than there is in football. Like, football actually just drives me mad. Absolutely bonkers. Like, football, you just get on with the fucking game already? I mean, I love Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl's great because there's no need to worry about all the nonsense that goes on in regular football. Regular football, there's just... Everyone can call time at any time. It just it's, drags the game down. The clock should always be ticking. Always. I think that would, like, vastly improve the game, just if the clock always ticked down. Do any of this stuff? Shield's pretty bad. The ring is pretty bad. No, we don't want any of this junk. Let's go. Soccer is decent. Um, but I have the same problem as that. Well, so my main problem with soccer is the faking of the, or playing up of the injuries. You know, oh no, I stubbed my toe, I'm crippled for life. Oh, ref, ref, ref. It's just, okay, at this point, I'm just going to shoot you to put you out your misery. Or put you out of my misery. One of the two. But either way, I'm going to shoot you. Because if you're going to play up your injury, then you die. That's just simple. You just die. And I think if you did that, there'd be a lot less people playing up their injuries. Like, um, no, I'm not hurt. I can totally play for a little while. I'm just going to totally just sit over here and think about what I've done with my bone sticking on my leg. I mean, maybe that's too far over on the other extreme, but... There is so much fucking nonsense that goes on with faking injuries and faking affronts in soccer. It just pisses me off. It didn't used to be that way. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. I I only... I've been watching a little bit of soccer. Well, I tried. Like, it's just a sport. You know, everyone watches this stuff. It's apparently really good. I should see what, it's, what the fuss is all about. So, I turned on some soccer the other day while I was at work. Because I have work that allows me to work from home. 
and I have a second screen that work doesn't know about or have access to. So I figured, okay, sure, why not? We'll watch some soccer. Watch a game. And oh my fucking god. It's almost worse than baseball how much they pause the game. We have every little thing. At least the red card, yellow card thing makes a decent amount of sense. I can get behind that. Uh, what do I want today? I would like... Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's Mysterious Jingle plays. Every time you come across something important like a punch to the face, grants the chance to increase your awareness in battle. Sure. We should probably boost the summoner tree eventually. We're going to get a monster zoo pretty soon here. Yeah, so soccer, not my game. Hockey. Hockey's cool. Pun not intended. It's got some nice bits to it. Some good bit of violence. Nobody tries to play up an injury too much. Sometimes fights break out, which is great. Uh, scoring, I can totally get behind. They don't pause the game too much. Substitutions make sense. I think hockey's decent. Um, it's just that there's a lot of people... I mean, I don't know the teams well enough to actually care like who actually wins. Hide these teams' colors, so we'll go with them for this game. It's like, I'm not loyal to any of these teams. There's a lot of player politics that seems to go on behind the scenes that I don't give two shits about. The announcers can go hang. Like, they're actually just total garbo. They'll tell you a little bit about the player, but, like, I don't give a shit. And then they'll tell you what's going on the screen. And some of these guys will just totally miss call plays. Like, oh, he's going down the left side, and he's not. He's going down the completely different side. It's like, are you guys blind? Do you not see this? Or sometimes, I don't think the announcers are looking at the same screen that I am. Because, I mean, sometimes the puck goes way offside. The, um, and the announcers will focus on accidents happening between two players who have, I don't know, some sort of rivalry or something. And so they're worried about that. But there's no, no focus on the puck for like two minutes. It's like, um, guys, you realize the point of the game is to get the puck in the net, right? Sometimes I wonder that about football, too. It's like, guys, do you realize the game's about getting the ball over to the other side? It's like, why are you fixing butts and about over there? It doesn't seem like you're working towards the overall strategy. Or it could be just their strategy totally fell apart, I suppose. Baseball, at least, is clear and simple. You know, you run the bases. There's no, no side scrimmage or anything like that. It's very straightforward, but shit, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Yeah, that hurts. Um, I'm going to need... We have a regeneration potion, right? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Because otherwise this run's pretty much over. Almost a standing in poison. Probably shouldn't do that. Is that a statue of a dragon? Hold up. Hold up. That looks like the statue of a dragon. Okay, you might come over here so I can just murder you. Every time you hit me, you try to teleport. I don't appreciate that. I don't know where it went. Is that a stat? That is a statue of a dragon. Huh. That's pretty cool. There's a potato inside the statue of the dragon, which I don't understand. So I think this is supposed... This might be added by a mod. It's a very large statue. That's actually kind of awesome. There we go. Um, do, 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 do. Now, granted, I've only watched, like, um, let's see. Okay, I don't think I've ever watched a full game of baseball. i watched several full games of Blood Bowl, because it just goes straight to the action, and I love that. But I've never watched a full straight game of football. It just gets so, there's so much nonsense in the middle of the game. It's like, just get on with it. Blood Bowl cuts the chase, and I appreciate that. I have watched a full game of baseball, but I think the last full game I watched when I, when I went with my dad, so that would have been, oh fuck, I don't know, 20 years ago? I have no idea. Ages ago. Oh, hello there, Monster Zoo. Um, can I throw a bomb? Let's see. The answer there is yes. Yes, you can. And apparently it also set off the trap, which was great. 
It only cost me seven. As long as I stand back. That was decent. Okay, we need to call in... Let's call in Rook. Actually, can we? 20, yes we can. Call in Rook over here. Can't do it. They won't love me for some reason. Do I need a summoning circle? Um, it's possible that I need a summoning circle. And nothing happened. I'm very puzzled. I should probably be walking away here because I do not want to get surrounded. So far, so good, though. Do I need a summoning circle to make this work? I'm very puzzled how this summoning tree works now. I thought I had it sorted. But now I'm not sure. Um, should probably not drink the alchemical booze. Clear is not going to help me right now. Let's drink the Pilsner. Okay, no worries. Drink another Pilsner just to be sure. And we'll try to do that summoning again. I think I need to summon inside the summon circle, but I made the summon circle over here. Nothing happened. It didn't even summon the ooze, which is weird, so I don't even know what's up with that. I'm gonna get hit. It's okay. These guys all drop in almost one hit. Alright. But we can throw bombs, that's great. But this summoner thing, I'm not sure is working. Conjure the live acrobat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want Roku's Grace. I'm right clicking, nothing's happening. Let's hold on. Let's wait for the combat log to catch up. Okay, no error message in the combat log. Summon circle is minus 15. It summoned the Blobby. Which is not really what I wanted to do. He is totally going to die now. That was worth 15. The Roku's Grace was worth... I don't know what the hell's up with this. Alright, we'll drink more Pilsner because apparently we're going to need it. Restores 8 each, so we'll probably need to chug like 4 of these. If my math is right. And apparently we've got Balmer Peak right now. Because we're drunk out of our skulls. Alright. We can throw a bomb right in the middle of here. That'll get some attention. Didn't hurt anybody too much, but we'll make them all come up to me. I can pretty much just take care of these guys in one hit, I think. Oh yeah, the blob is going to die. Yep, there he goes. He actually dropped coinage. He actually dropped coins. How weird. Okay, death comes up. Hello. You guys totally want to ignore me? It's not how this works. That's it. Easy. We got cat ears. Whoop de frickin' do. Actually, two dodge and four nimble. That's actually pretty good. I'm not sure about losing some of our might. Or sagacity, for that matter. But it's not bad. Adding four nimbleness really increases our dodge chance. Okay, sure, why not? We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Kind of hate saying goodbye to our might, but could be for a good cause. Our survivability. Alright, that was a pretty easy monster to do. The summon thing, for some reason, that's very strange, it's not working. And we were able to summon the blob, which is good, but for some reason, the other upper tier stuff didn't work, which could be bad. Like, right now, Warrior and Wizard is... Uh, hold on, is there a side quest? There is. Warrior and Wizard are equal. We should probably go a little bit more for the Warrior side, right? There's shields and swords we can invest in. Monstrous Regiment, Lord Dreadmore 76, the Bringer of Testament, and their commander of the vile Mukhu, the Dawning of Pork, must be stopped at all costs. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, they're just going to come straight up for me, then. Random Electro Blobby, it's not actually the guy I want, I think. I don't know, I've never noticed the map having stuff on this before. This might be because of the Hero of Time thing. But these guys, these guys are not the 76 Regiment, are they? Oh, there are three members, yeah, okay. These are it. These are the three members remaining, that's what it says. 
And there are two members of Lord's Regiment again. Bonk you, and the other one I get think is up here. Yeah, here he is. Ah, okay, so this is the actual the Donning of Pork. Yeah, here he is. So that's the leader. He's gonna chase me down a little bit. I'm gonna risk it here and throw a bomb in his face. He was barely even scratched with a bomb to the face. Okay. I can give him an icy stare. He's a steam golem. Maybe they'll turn him into water. Turns out he's very, very resistant to that idea. Alright. Well, this is going to hurt a bit then. But my sword's doing decent damage. He is throwing a fixative damage at me, but he's going to die right now. There we go. We got a toque. Yay? Not a big fan of toques. I mean, they're better than caps. Like, a cap seems to me like for a child. Which is a new feeling. I mean, I used to wear caps when I was in my 20s. But then I started watching a lot of, like... I mean, I didn't start watching. I remembered, I suppose, a lot of, like, 50s television. Where the kids wore caps and the adults wore berets. and Or not berets. I guess berets is possible. Berets, fedoras, cowboy hats of all different types. So I got myself a cowboy hat from Arizona. Which is fantastic. It's a great hat. I definitely cannot recommend enough. And um, I've never looked back. I do not want to wear a cap ever again. It's just, it's too good. It has nice coverage on both in front of my face and behind so that it covers my neck. On my sides for my ears, it's actually just great all around. It's, it's fantastic. Cannot recommend enough. Did accidentally pick a lock there. Okay, so let's go for swords. I think we're overdue for the lieutenant's overshow. Oh, there's a guy right there. There you go. Did that actually? No, okay. So she got injured by the trap because she stepped in it. Okay. Thought for a minute there that I had somehow attacked her from afar, and I wasn't sure how that was worked out. Okay, can I disarm this? Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We could probably have done it. I oh, didn't actually go very far, did it? Okay. Um, where are we going? We are going... I guess we go up this way. Another dragon statue. Okay, kind of loses the impact after the first one. Kind of funny if they change Dreadmore to look like a dragon now. Probably not. I guess we go down to the next floor. Oh, there's a side passage here. Let's do this first. Two side passages, okay. Pop. There you go. Alright. Brass mechanism. I guess we'll grab some food. Nothing wrong with a little bit of cheese. Yeah. So I think we have a 50% chance to let us try, or if we have just the ability to just take it out immediately. Uh, burglary might help us with that. Yeah. Of it. Okay, sure, why not? I don't think there's gonna be a shop here on this floor. Grab the gold. We have 32,000 gold? Hold up, what? How do we have this much gold? I mean, I know I sold a lot to the shopkeeper and didn't buy anything, but still. We're on the second floor. How the hell do we have 32,000 gold? Have I just been lucking out? Are the mods totally letting me cheat? I mean, it's possible that latter one. Gotta be careful of mods sometimes. Light Eater Sandals gives me nimbleness. As opposed to flip flop dodge. Nimbleness, I think, translates into more dodge power, so we'll go with that. Okay, working out so far. We're definitely gonna need a shop pretty soon. I am full up on inventory space. So we're gonna need to go downstairs. And the radiant damage is pretty good. Okay, you go away. There we go. Okay, downstairs it is. There's Grog there, which I cannot pick up. I don't know what there. No, no, I do have space for Grog. There we go. From seven to eight. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not gonna find a shop, so we might as well just go. Uh, hey guys. You seen the exit anywhere around here? It's that way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, third floor. 
Got to be careful of another monster zoo, especially if we can't actually do the summons. Like, the blob was a good distraction. But barely. Not as good as he could have been. Well. Okay. This might be it, folks. I don't know if this is going to be doable. I can close the door again. That did not work. I thought I was going to close the door. It did not. Um, being surrounded, also bad. Step over this way. So at least only two of them get to me at once. So I mean, of course they get out of their own way. Good counter. Good counter. I'm going to eat some food real quick. Make sure I don't die a horrible death. Or at least try not to. Okay, crab guy, hello. Okay, we're, we're going to work this out. This might be okay. The fact that we're doing taking up these guys in two to three hits is actually pretty good. But since we just arrived on this floor, it's the righteous damage, man. I mean, you realize it's only two righteous damage. It's not that much, but it just adds a little bit of extra oomph to our shots here. I think. Come in here, genie. There we go. I'm there, not trying to surround me. Strangely enough, I think they would. Okay, never mind. The Octo... That was going to go for us. No? Ah, right, here we go. Now we're going to be able to run it. Okay, take care of the clone. Crustoid warrior. Crustanoid? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, not time for a bomb yet, but almost. Oh! I thought we... Oh, I thought we had it. I wasn't paying attention to my health enough. God freaking damn it. Well, that Jacob guy, I'm sorry. You were now forever known as the Forgotten Nail. We did not make it to top 10, did we? No. No, we did not. I felt like we were doing pretty well. We had some good money. If we had made it to a shop, we probably would have been able to upgrade our armor and our weapon to the next step. And that would have killed, I think. Okay, well, so much for that. Thanks for watching. This has been Dungeons of Dreadmore. I'm Peace of the Universe, you're Peace of the Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.